All right, so you sprouted some lentils in a mason jar, and now you need to know what to do with them. Well, let's do this. We're gonna make a lovely sprouted lentil salad, and we're gonna give her the old taste test. So the first thing you're gonna need to do, get your sprouted lentils. You're gonna need about a cup and a half of them. That is a lot of work. Works for me. So this lovely chopping device has the cut measurements on the side of it as well. All right, then we're gonna take a cucumber and we need about a half a cup of it sliced and diced. So let's get after it. Then you need a half cup of chopped cucumber. It's fairly close. And you're gonna need a half cup of fresh cut garden tomatoes. I mean, you can use store-bought, but I think the fresh ones are better. Then you're going to want about a third a cup of green onions. And I use the white parts. If you don't want the white parts or don't want a whole bunch of the green, adjust as you would like it. You're also going to want to add a half cup of the fresh garden radishes and then give this a light toss. And you ought to end up with something that kind of looks like that. All right, in a separate mixing bowl, we're gonna get two tablespoons of cilantro. Then we're gonna throw one tablespoon of olive oil. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. Then one tablespoon of white vinegar. Then we're gonna throw in one and a half teaspoons of oregano half teaspoon of garlic powder, then one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. Then we're gonna give this a good mix and get it all blended in together really well until it looks about something like that. All right, then we're gonna take our two mixtures. We're gonna mix them together really well as gently as possible, of course, so that way we don't break up the bean sprouts as much as possible. They're a little uh, soft, pliable, however you want to say it, where they can be crushed easily. All right, and after you've got all this mixed together really well, go ahead and throw it in the refrigerator for about 20, 30 minutes so that it'll cool down and so all the flavors can really blend together well before you try to eat it. All right, and after 20 minutes, we're gonna give it a try. We did the family vote, so now I'm gonna try it and see what happens. I still don't like it. But four out of five said it was good. I don't like vinaigrette, which is what I made because that's what the wife wanted, but here we are. Four out of five people approved, so give it a try.